tonight, could Donald Trump and other Republicans who pushed the big lie that incited the deadly insurrection be barred from seeking office? This is the hope of a group of lawyers who are now arguing in the state of North Carolina that Congressman Madison Cawthorn should not be able to seek re-election under Section 3 of the 14th Amendment. It was Cawthorn who tweeted two days before the deadly insurrection in part, I quote him, January 6th is fast approaching and the future of this republic hinges on the on the actions of a solitary few. It's time to fight. All the fraud they have done in this election, the Republicans hiding and not fighting, they are trying to silence your voice. What's up everybody, Major Retired Richard Ojeda here. And this is what I'm talking about when I say Democrats need to take the gloves off and start fighting back and treating this like a brawl, because it is. And too much is on the line for us not to leave it all out on the line. The North Carolina Dems seem to have gotten the message and they're the ones who that are using the courts to their advantage. Madison Cawthorn is an insurrectionist. Madison Cawthorn is a traitor. Madison Cawthorn spreads lies and propaganda to incite violence. And he has done so over and over again. Cawthorn is constantly in the news because of his outlandish, over-the-top comments and has become a favorite amongst the Q fan club of crazies and lost souls. He lies like you and I breathe air. He can't live without it. So what do you do when you confront this type of mouthpiece? You fight back. And in this case, the North Carolina Democrats are using the courts to do just that. The 14th Amendment states, and I quote, no person shall be a senator or representative in Congress or elector of president and vice president or hold any office, civil or military, under the United States or under any state who, having previously taken an oath as a member of Congress or as an officer of the United States or as a member of any state legislature or as an executive or judicial officer of any state to support the Constitution of the United States shall have engaged in insurrection or rebellion against the same or given aid or comfort to the enemies thereof. We have Madison Cawthorn on tape over a thousand times inciting a rebellion against the United States. This case is cut and dry, so Cawthorn needs to be removed from office today. North Carolina is taking the lead and I'm glad I'm moving there. But Madison Cawthorn is not the only member of Congress who violated the 14th Amendment. Gosar of Arizona, Mo Brooks of Alabama, Breitbart Bobert of Colorado, Trainwreck Green of Georgia, Matt the Pedophile Gates of Florida. And it's not just members of the House. What about the Senate? You have that Jacqueline from Missouri, Josh Hawley, or the Alabama Senator, the one that can't read, Tommy Tuberville. And of course, the orange insurrectionist and chief himself, Donald Trump. All of these people violated the 14th Amendment and should be barred from ever serving in office again. Now, I'm really happy that North Carolina is taking this huge step, and I will be watching to see what comes of this case and what states will follow suit. I have a feeling that this one's going to go all the way up to the Supreme Court. 2022 is in full swing, folks, so click the subscribe button and make sure to look out because we have a lot more insight to share with you guys. Sappers clear the way, airborne all the way.